Advanced composite materials ACMs are also known as advanced polymer matrix composites. These are generally characterized or determined by unusually high strength fibers with unusually high stiffness, or modulus of elasticity characteristics, compared to other materials, while bound together by weaker matrices. These are termed advanced composite materials ACM in comparison to the composite materials commonly in use such as reinforced concrete, or even concrete itself. The high strength fibers are also low density while occupying a large fraction of the volume. Advanced composites exhibit desirable physical and chemical properties that include light weight coupled with high stiffness elasticity, and strength along the direction of the reinforcing fiber, dimensional stability, temperature and chemical resistance, flex performance, and relatively easy processing. Advanced composites are replacing metal components in many uses, particularly in the aerospace industry. Composites are classified according to their matrix phase. These classifications are polymer matrix composites PMCs, ceramic matrix composites CMCs, and metal matrix composites MMCs. Also, materials within these categories are often called «advanced» if they combine the properties of high axial, longitudinal strength values and high axial, longitudinal stiffness values, with low weight, corrosion resistance, and in some cases special electrical properties. Advanced composite materials have broad, proven applications, in the aircraft, aerospace, and sports equipment sectors. Even more specifically ACMs are very attractive for aircraft and aerospace structural parts. ACMs have been developing for NASA's Advanced Space Transportation Program, Armor Protection for Army Aviation and the Federal Aviation Administration of the USA, and High Temperature Shafting for the Comanche Helicopter. Additionally, ACMs have a decades-long history in military and government aerospace industries. However, much of the technology is new and not presented formally in secondary or undergraduate education, and the technology of advanced composites manufacture is continually evolving. This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Overview and historical perspective Manufacturing ACMs is a multi-billion dollar industry worldwide. Composite products range from skateboards to components of the Space Shuttle. The industry can be generally divided into two basic segments, industrial composites and advanced composites. Several of the composites' manufacturing processes are common to both segments. The two basic segments are described below. <laughs> industrial composites The industrial composites industry has been in place for over 40 years in the U.S. This large industry utilizes various resin systems including polyester, epoxy, and other specialty resins. These materials, along with a catalyst or curing agent and some type of fiber reinforcement typically glass fibers are used in the production of a wide spectrum of industrial components and consumer goods, boats, piping, auto bodies, and a variety of other parts and components. Topic. Advanced composites The advanced polymer matrix composites industry, or advanced composite materials industry, is characterized by the use of expensive, high-performance resin systems and high-strength, high-stiffness fiber reinforcement. The aerospace industry, including military and commercial aircraft of all types, is the major customer for advanced composites. These materials have also been adopted for use by the sporting goods suppliers who sell high-performance equipment to the golf, tennis, fishing, and archery markets, as well as in the swimming pool industry with composite wall structures, while aerospace is the predominant market for advanced composites today. The industrial and automotive markets will increasingly see the use of advanced composites toward the year 2000 it's now 2017 this is out of date. At present, both manual and automated processes are employed in making advanced composite parts. 
As automated processes become more predominant, the costs of advanced composites are expected to decline to the point at which these materials will be used widely in electronic, machinery, and surface transportation equipment. Suppliers of advanced composite materials tend to be larger companies capable of doing the research and development necessary to provide the high-performance resin systems used in this segment of the industry. End users also tend to be large, and many are in the aircraft and aerospace businesses. <laughs> Matrix materials Advanced composite systems are divided into two basic types based on the chemical characteristics of the matrix, the two most common are thermosets and thermoplastics. Thermosets are by far the predominant type in use today. Thermosets are subdivided into several resin systems including epoxies, phenolics, polyurethanes, and polyemides. Of these, epoxy systems currently dominate the advanced composite industry. Topic. Thermosets Thermoset resins require addition of a curing agent or hardener and impregnation onto a reinforcing material, followed by a curing step to produce a cured or finished part. Once cured, the part cannot be changed or reformed, except for finishing. Some of the more common thermosets include epoxy, polyurethanes, phenolic and amino resins, bismillyamides, BMI, polyemides, polyamides. Of these, epoxies are the most commonly used in the industry. Epoxy resins have been in use in US industry for over 40 years. Epoxy compounds are also referred to as glycidyl compounds. The epoxy molecule can also be expanded or cross-linked with other molecules to form a wide variety of resin products, each with distinct performance characteristics. These resins range from low-viscosity liquids to high molecular weight solids. Typically they are high-viscosity liquids. The second of the essential ingredients of an advanced composite system is the curing agent or hardener. These compounds are very important because they control the reaction rate and determine the performance characteristics of the finished part. Since these compounds act as catalysts for the reaction, they must contain active sites on their molecules. Some of the most commonly used curing agents in the advanced composite industry are the aromatic amines. Two of the most common are methylene dianiline and sulfonyldianiline Several other types of curing agents are also used in the advanced composite industry. These include aliphatic and cycloaliphatic amines, polyaminoamides, amides, and anhydrides. Again, the choice of curing agent depends on the cure and performance characteristics desired for the finished part. Polyurethanes are another group of resins used in advanced composite processes. These compounds are formed by reacting the polyol component with an isocyanate compound, typically toluene diisocyanate (TDI), methylene diisocyanate (MDI), and hexamethylene diisocyanate (HDI) are also widely used. Phenolic and amino resins are another group of PMC resins. The bismillyamides and polyamides are relative newcomers to the advanced composite industry and have not been studied to the extent of the other resins. Thermoplastics Thermoplastics currently represent a relatively small part of the ACM industry. They are typically supplied as nonreactive solids no chemical reaction occurs during processing and require only heat and pressure to form the finished part. Unlike the thermosets, the thermoplastics can usually be reheated and reformed into another shape, if desired. Fiber reinforcements Fiber reinforcement materials are added to the resin system increase the tensile strength and stiffness of the finished part. The selection of reinforcement material is based on the properties desired in the finished product. These materials do not react with the resin but are a distinct and integral part of the advanced composite system. The three basic types of fiber reinforcement materials in use in the advanced composite industry are carbon, carbon fiber, graphite, carbon nanotubes, aramid, 
Glass fibers Fibers used in advanced composite manufacture come in various forms, including toes, yarns, rovings, chopped strands, and woven fabric. Mats. Each of these has its own special application. When prepreg materials are used in parts manufacture, woven fabric or mats are required. In processes such as filament wet winding or pultrusion, yarns and rovings are used. Prepreg Prepregs are resin impregnated cloth, mat, or filaments in flat form that can be stored for later use. The resin is often partially cured to attack free state called B staging. Catalysts, inhibitors, flame retardants, and other additives may be included to obtain specific end use properties and improve processing, storage, and handling characteristics. Limitations Despite their strength and low weight, composites have not been a miracle solution for aircraft structures. Composites are typically difficult to inspect for flaws. Some of them absorb moisture. Most importantly, they can be prohibitively expensive, primarily because they are labor-intensive and often require complex and expensive fabrication machines. Aluminium, by contrast, is easy and inexpensive to manufacture and repair, for example in a minor collision an aluminium component can often be hammered back into its original shape, whereas a crunched fiberglass component will likely have to be completely replaced. Aluminium has a relatively high fracture toughness, allowing it to undergo large amounts of plastic deformation before failure. Composites, on the other hand, are less damage tolerant and undergo much less plastic deformation before failure. An airplane made entirely from aluminium can be repaired almost anywhere. This is not the case for composite materials, particularly as they use different and more exotic materials. Because of this, composites will probably always be used more in military aircraft, which are constantly being maintained, than in commercial aircraft, which have to require less maintenance. Aluminium still remains a remarkably useful material for aircraft structures and metallurgists have worked hard to develop better aluminium alloys, for example aluminium-lithium alloys. See also Composite material NASA Advanced Space Transportation Program External links Buckland, Peter G. Advanced Composite Materials with Application to Bridges. September 30, 1991. Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Carbon Fiber Composites for Cars. Volume 33, No. 3, 2000. Worldwide Composites Search Engine 1. Large database of companies involved in composite materials.